Whether it started purposely or caused naturally, wildfires can be disastrous if they are not attended to on time. And since they are inevitable, especially in this time of the year, the NNFU suggested that local farmers in wildfire-prone areas organize a team of firefighters to put out fires before they cause major damages. Now, in the area where there's a fire outbreak, number, number one, we don't have manpower mm. to, to attend to it. Uh, the response we are getting, if they may, be, they may, they may come a, a day or two or three days late, mm -hmm. and the damage is on and on. But if we could have uh, uh, people trained specifically just to, as, a, as, a, as a team to respond to the, to this, to this fire outbreaks, it could assist us a lot. Mm. Now, um, for example, if we, uh, I was thinking if we could uh, uh, um, divide or if, if the farm areas into blocks, for example, mm -hmm. but number one, we have to start uh, sensitizing the people and involving the, 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 the nationals and the farmers themselves mm. and so that we can then say, okay, let's cut these blocks into portions. Mm. And then we, we do cut lines to, in such, to, to the extent that if one farm one farm gets fire, mm -hmm. then it cannot get transported to the next. Yeah. So then we, we can actually think into, into that direction. A farmer in the Nina area of Okurukambe constituency lost close to 80% of his farm last week due to a fire which is suspected to have been caused by a runaway charcoal producer, seeing the fact that he hasn't experienced anything of this sort for at least 25 years. We don't really know what we have heard, and this is just hearsay. Mm -hmm. So I can't uh, say that it is factual, but hearsay is that it was a, a, a runaway fire from uh, charcoal operators. It's easy to say it's fire season. You understand what I'm saying? Yes. But if, if people don't adhere to the regulations, it makes it so much worse, mm. you know? And it's, you know, it's, it's, it's not as if at the present moment the farmers can afford this type of thing. Well, we lost about 80% of the farm or of, of what we basically have. So for us, it was actually quite bad. Um, yeah, that's, that's where we stand. We lost a lot of fencing. So that all has to be redone. Um, we will see. We're hoping for early rains. We don't know. Otherwise, we must make arrangements to uh, find grazing for our cattle. The Namibia Charcoal Association told Today on One last week that it is difficult to confirm whether or not the fire was caused by a charcoal producer in that area. However, an investigation into the matter is underway. The NCA is advising charcoal producers all over the country to follow guidelines set out by the Namibian government as well as the NCA to ensure the safe production of charcoal.